Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So the last update about Twist of Fate. Palavi is sad that Prachi's baby is not for Rambro after thinking that Prachi's baby will bring good luck to the house. Then Prachi was kidnapped by some men. So let's continue. Some goons kidnap Prachi and some other girls. Prachi asks the girls who are they. The girl says that they have been kidnapped and they will sell us. Prachi says this cannot happen. The girl says that she heard them saying that they will sell them once they cross the border. The girl says nobody can search for us then and it will be sold. Another girl says that everyone knows why the girls are sold. The girls ask Prachi, how are you here? Prachi says she is married to Rambrukoli and her husband betrayed her. So she left the house and she got kidnapped. Shahana sprinkles water on Rambro. Rambro asks, what are you doing here? I want to sleep. Shahana says you are not in the bedroom and she asks him to come out of the car. Rambro is still drunk and not in his senses. Shahana says to Rambro that Prachi has been kidnapped. Some people have kidnapped Prachi and she went out of the house to go away from you. But someone kidnapped her and they took her in the truck. Rambro asks that what is the truck's number. Shahana recollects the number and she tells Rambro. Rambro calls the number and he asks that where are you. He says I will not leave the van. Shahana sits on the driving seat and asks Rambro to sit. Rambro sits in the car. Shahana drives off. The goons opens the truck door and asks the girls to come down. The goon tells Prachi that the girls come here and only their dead bodies goes back. He threatens to cut them into pieces and asks the other goon to tie their hands. The goon tells Prachi that she is beautiful among others and says that there's something in her surely. Prachi tells the goons that she will not sit quiet and her husband will not sit quiet. And if her husband comes here, then your family cannot identify you. The goon says that you are showing attitude even till now and he asks the other goon to tape everyone's mouth. The goon takes Prachi's picture and tapes her mouth. The goon takes all the girls down including Prachi. He asks the goon to blindfold all the girls as they should not know the location. He tells the girl call Sumya that he fooled her to trap her else she wouldn't have been caught. He says she will get the good lover. They take the girls to the place. Rhea is drinking alcohol. Alia asks that what are you doing? Ria says she is celebrating. Aliyah says whose idea was it to use Sida's sister? Ria appreciates Aliyah's idea and says your idea was great. You used your mind and I was safe from jail. She thanks Aliyah. Aliyah asks Ria not to butter her. Ria says if I don't flatter you, then I will lie eat you. She says I took the bottle and then you came. She says that she will leave Sidat and they will free his sister. She says so much money is spent on his sister. Aliyah says to Ria that you are the Koli's daughter-in-law. She says Sidat might tell anyone about our plan once his sister is released. She says they should not leave the sister now. Shahana asks Rambro how much he loves Prachi. Rambro says so much. Shahana asks how much. Rambro says to Shahana that Prachi couldn't understand. Then how will you understand? Shahana asks which way to go, left or right. Rambro says how do I know? Shahana asks Rambro to feel it. In which direction did Prachi go? Rambo says he is hearing something and he asks Shahana to get down from the car. He says there is someone there. Rambo asks a drunkard if he saw a girl going in the truck. The drunkard says no. Shahana says one girl is kidnapped in the truck and she asks did you see any girl? Rambo shows Prachi's picture. The drunkard says she is Lakshmi. Rambo says she is mine. Shahana says Prachi has left. The drunkard says that Rambo should beg and says that begging industry has expanded to 500 million. Rambo is surprised. The drunkard asks Rambo to send Lakshmi for Dashan. Rambo says I will send her to this address. Shahana asks Rambo to sit in the car. Rambo sits again and says let's search for Prachi. Shahana says where to go. Rambo says Prachi has gone to the left and he asks Shahana don't you trust me. Shahana says I have to trust you. The goons makes all the girls sit in the garden. Prachi asks the goons that where did you bring us? The goons ask them to sit quietly and threatens them showing the gun, saying that he will make use of it. He asks if they understand. Prachi says yes. The goons talk that they will send the girls to the place. The goon calls the other goon as his younger brother and says they would earn much money this time. He says the Sari girl is a top class and would earn good money from her. The other goon says that all the girls are at one side and that sari clad girl is at the other side. Prachi coughs and she tells the goons that she has severe sickness and she can die while coughing. She asks the goon to bring water. 
The goons brings the rope and ties Pratchett's feet. He says I will bring water. Pratchett slides and moves to pick the glass piece. Pratchett cuts the rope and frees her hand and legs. She is about to escape and then she comes back to free the other girls. She asks them to come. They are escaping and the goons comes back and alerts the other goons. Rambo tells Shahana that he can feel that Prachi is near him. Shahana says you have broken Prachi's heart. Prachi had come to ask you if you trust her. Rambo asks what did I say? Shahana says don't open my mouth and she scolds Rambo for not supporting Prachi. Prachi asks the girls to escape through the window. Two girls manage to escape. Before the third girl could escape, the lady goon comes there and stops the girl. She then points a gun at Prachi. The lady kidnapper points a gun at Prachi. She says she can kill her, but they get money for body and not for dead body. She says she is getting angry and spit. She sprays on them to get them intoxicated. The kidnapper says you would have done this before and says two girls have already escaped. The lady kidnapper asks the goons to go and catch the girls. She asks them to take the girls. Rambo tells Shahana that he had felt that he has seen the truck. Shahana is driving the car. And she eats the girl while talking to Rambro. She gets down and says sorry to the girl. Rambro gets down and he asks Shahana if she asks the girl about Prachi. Shahana says the girl might not know about Prachi. She is crying. Rambro asks the girl if she knows about his wife Prachi. Shahana says I know you are already worried. The girl says it is good that he asks and says I know where Prachi is. The lady kidnapper says that everyone is under the influence of alcohol as if they are drunk. The kidnapper calls the guy and says you were about to help us cross the border. The guy says no girl is beautiful. The kidnapper says I did not send that beautiful girl's picture. He sends the picture and the guy says that she is beautiful. Bring her. The lady kidnapper goes to the girls. Prachi is drunk due to the spray along with the other girls and she scares the lady kidnapper. She says I am bad. The other girl asks the lady kidnapper to play with her. Prachi plays with the lady kidnapper and says sorry. The lady kidnapper says she got it. Prachi says sorry and then she takes out her slippers to beat her. The lady kidnapper goes from there. Prachi sits with the girls and tells them that this is not her house as her sister Shahana and her husband Rambo is not here. The girl asks if Prachi is married. Prachi says yes and she shows her wedding necklace. She says my husband Rambo is very handsome and she laughs. Shahana and Rambo comes to the place. Some of the kidnappers are about to leave to give money to the guy who is helping them to cross the border. Rambo is still drunk. The kidnappers leave. Other kidnappers who are there hear the noise, but they couldn't see anyone. He thinks to go inside and drink tea. Shahana asks Rambo to get up. They come inside the place. Shahana says this is the place where they catch girls and sell them. Rambo says that where is Prachi? He takes the drink and drinks again. Shahana tries to stop Rambo. Rambo says, now, see how I saw Prachi. He calls Prachi's name. Prachi says, back loose voice and calls him. Rambo says, Prachi. Prachi comes to him. Rambo asks Prachi and says, I chick chick. The girl asks Prachi that who is the man. Prachi says, he is my handsome husband. Rambo says, he is a liar lover husband also. He says, he likes it when Prachi get jealous. Prachi says, you are funny and she cries. She says, she missed him. Shahana comes there and asks them to come from there first. The kidnapper comes there. Prachi says to Rambo that he is that bad guy who brought me here. The kidnapper asks if he would take him to the police station and says his name is Ashok. Rambo laughs and asks him to make sweet pan and leave Shahana. Rambo says my name is handsome husband. The kidnapper threatens to kill Rambo. Rambo takes out the wine bottle and says I will kill you. The lady kidnapper says you will die. The kidnapper started the countdown and asks Rambo to end the drama. Rambo spit on his face and runs with Prachi and Shahana, and the other goons comes to catch them again. Rambo, Prachi, Shahana, and the captive girls fight with the kidnappers. The kidnapper points a gun at Shahana. Prachi says the game is over. Rambo says sorry and asks them to get their guns. He says bye Shahana. Prachi and I will go from here. The lady kidnapper says she will lock them in the room as they are not understanding what is happening. Prachi asks Rambo to come because they are calling them. Rambo says he enjoyed fighting. The lady kidnapper locks Rambo and Prachi in a room. The kidnapper asks Shahana to sit. Shahana says she will not leave them. She warns them. The goon ties Shahana's hand and threatens to kill her. Shahana asks, will you kill me? 
The kidnapper threatens to cut Rambo and Pratchett's tongue. The kidnapper tells other kidnappers not to give them water. The girl tells Shahana that Pratchett tried to run away after asking for water. The kidnapper asks the girls why she is not drunk. The girl says that she did not drink much. She tells Shahana that they think that Prachi is beautiful and they keep her safe. Shahana worries for Prachi and Rambro. The lady kidnapper brings water to give to Rambro. Rambro asks Prachi to drink water. Prachi drops the water bottle and cries, saying that Rambro has left her. Rambro says, you have left me with your stuff. Prachi says, yes, I remember. Rambro cries and says, you were about to leave me. Prachi cries and says to Rambro that you got married to Ria. Rambro asks Prachi not to cry and says he will not let her cry again. Okay, I think I should quickly explain what happened in this episode. What happened is that after Prachi went to meet Rambro and asked if Rambro trusts her, then Prachi realized that Rambro is also thinking that her pregnancy is meant for Sedat. Then Prachi decided to leave the house. And after leaving the house, some goons who are human trafficker, they actually kidnapped Prachi. They wanted to sell her off with some other girls and they kept them in the garden. Then Rambro, who was heartbroken, begins to drink and he was drunk. Then Shahana begins to look for Prachi and Shahana met Rambro, who was drunk. And Shahana takes Rambro to go and look for Prachi. And that was how Shahana and Rambro end up in the kidnappers' hideout as well. So, yeah, Rambro and Prachi are drunk. And in case you want to ask me, how did Prachi get drunk when she did not drink any alcohol? Well, that was because of the spray that the kidnappers used in spraying them so that they would lose consciousness. So it was the spray that made Prachi become drunk. At least she started acting like she is drunk. So that is what happened. I hope you guys understand. I don't always like to confuse people. So I think I'm able to convince and not to confuse you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video, share it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.